The demand for kuiai is it the greatest need ever? You know, last week Friday we had a tsunami that uh, affected our communities heavily. What are we gonna do when one really hits? We're not gonna know how for kui because nobody's doing it. This is how we hold ma ama ourselves. We, we practice the, the necessity of a kanaka to kui. That is his lifestyle is is to be an example in the community, a role model of cleanliness a role model of physical health, a role model of someone who is willing to, to live a lifestyle that maybe not everybody like live, but bruh, if you like live them, you need to have the opportunity to live it. I ask all the friends that, that don't live in Hawaii to let your voices be heard because if we cannot make our most sacred food here the way that we make it to sustain ourselves, at some point, you will not be able to make your sacred food and sustain yourself. Now they say, oh, pa'iai is legal. It's only the sale of it that is illegal. Go, give it away. Well, we don't have enough taro. We keep talking about needing more farmers. And the reason we don't get any farmers is because nobody can be sustainable financially doing it. Ku'iai is a great means, not just to the person pounding it, but also to the farmer. I want you to know that we pay three times the farm gate price. We pay $2 a pound for our taro. But you know what? For that taro, I need good taro. I need eco. I need starch. Those are the things. That is what poi is made out of. If you asked our kupunas what poi was made out of, they wouldn't tell you taro. They would say that it is made of the essence of halua. You clean your taro down so that only the best is put on the board. How do we keep this mana'o strong without doing it? If we can't do it, then we're going to be guilty of being like everybody else. Just talk. Today, we're over here at the Capitol. I wouldn't walk around. I've seen every different Hawaiian organization that has a taro plant, taro leaf, or poi, or somebody using that to promote what they're doing. This is the foundation. The foundation is not me. The foundation is not kuiai. The foundation is the practice in your house. The foundation is you. So if you don't know what you're doing and you don't know how to do them, then things is not working. And so that's why your support is most necessary. Because once you become reacquainted with the delicacies of the onokalo of our aina, and once you become acquainted with the many different ways to prepare your pa'i'ai from pizza to calzones to sashimi to dumplings in your stew, you will realize that all of the songs and the melodies of our ancestors was written for a reason. Because it's ono. Because it's good for you. Because the practice and the living of the lifestyle gonna keep you strong. I could rant forever. I know I preach into the choir. I wanted to just send my aloha out to all of the people out there that support the bill, that don't support the bill. I just want to say that, you know, mahalo to you because all of the challenges are making us stronger. All the roadblocks, we're learning different routes into the city. We're making our own map. We're having to cut new trails. We're having to do things that haven't been done in a century or more. So mahalo, because if this was easy, it wouldn't be worthwhile. Malama Pono. Aloha. And if they want to know more or get in touch with you, they can do it through... You can go to uh, www.indigenizethelaw.com or you can go to www.manaai.com or just check me out on Facebook, Brother Daniel Anthony, Manaai. Aloha. Aloha.